Hello. So, about a year ago, I made a video called Glitches in the Last of Us, and it was very... It was received very positively. It has like 92,000 views on it. But there's a lot of crap that I didn't... That I either didn't know about or I just left out. So this video, I am going to be leaving nothing out, hopefully, and I'm going to show you even more glitches in this game. Because this game's kind of broken, if you hadn't gotten that already. Uh, now that other video, I separated that video into three parts, like glitches you use in an any percent run, certain little tricks we can use in a glitchless run, and then the middle was like just a bunch of random shit that you can do in the game. That's what this video is going to be about. Just more random shit in the game that doesn't help you with speedruns at all. But they're just really funny to look at. So we're going to start right here uh, in the spot before the slums. Now, I personally have never tried this yet. You ready? I'm kind of hoping Excuse it me. works or something funny happens. We'll see. I've only been told about it Come by on. some people. But it turns out you don't actually have to hit triangle here. You can just climb up through the little hole right there. Let's see. You can! Aha! Now, I'm pretty sure you can't go very far. Hey, Tess! How you doing? You can just climb up. No? Uh, uh, okay. I'm just gonna keep going. I don't know what the game's gonna do. But let's just see. I'm also very interested in what that triangle... Oh, hi, Tess. <laughs> I had no clue. That was the first time I tried it. All right, she's still a little bugged. So we're going to keep going and just see what the game does. If I had to guess, I'd say we're going to black screen. No ladies first. All right. I wonder if there's a checkpoint or anything. We're just going to keep going. If I had to guess, I'd say we're going to get a black screen when the spores happen. We're holding steady so far. There's... Alright, there's... Okay. Joel's walking through the spores without a gas mask. Joel, you're going to end up... Triangle prompt? Triangle prompt doesn't work. Joel doesn't have his mask on. Oh, Joel. Alright, triangle prompt doesn't work. I had a feeling that would happen. Interesting. Uh, do I even want to know where Restart Encounter places me? <laughs> See, that's a that's a fun one that you can just kind of play around with. Maybe there's a speedrun strat in here somewhere. Alright, it places us right back here. What happens if we hit triangle from up here? It won't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. <laughs> Just gonna moonwalk back underneath the door. So yeah. Just climb up over here. And then yeah, it looks like there are no checkpoints from this point forward. I am ungrounded. Maybe there's a checkpoint on easy. Who knows? Oh, hi Tess. Is she gonna act normally this time? Doesn't look like it. The music isn't... isn't there's no music. The dialogue that's supposed to happen isn't doing anything. And nah. Game's busted. Alright. Maybe there's a potential glitch there for for easy mode. For any percent. Maybe. I don't feel like playing around with it. But what a way to start the video, right? Alright. See, just a stupid little glitch. Alright. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, the next glitch is in the cargo. At th so at the end of the cargo here, you hit triangle on the door, and Joel holds the door open for Marlene and Tess. But the game doesn't despawn the enemies. So if there's an enemy hanging around here, he can shoot you. Now, I just spent the last, like, ten minutes trying to get it myself, and I couldn't get it, so I'm going to have to rely on a video here by Sins Gaming. Thank you for the video. So watch what happens. If you you can get shot and die while you're holding the door open for them by an enemy because the game doesn't despawn them. So watch what happens. Go on. 
just cuts to black. Just shoots him. Cuts right to black. Now, as a result, see if I can skip ahead a little bit. Marlene and Tess are invisible. It's kind of similar to when you uh, the the glitch in the previous glitches video outside the high school when you die on the same frame as the last enemy in the section. Bill and Ellie were invisible. It's kind of the same thing. They're moving. They're walking. Their their dialogue isn't there. Joel, give me a hand with this. But even the the door. Or the doorknob. Wait for it. <laughs> it's turning. So they're there. Joel, give me a hand with this. But they're not there. Now this is very seeming like this is not a glitch you would expect to find. I, I tried to get it on purpose and I couldn't. You have to get shot while the door is being held open by Joel. Pretty weird. But yeah, not surprising that something like that would be in a section like this. Alright. Next. Alright, this one's great. This one's in the museum. Now we have to we have to get rid of all the enemies here, so I'm doing this on uh I'm gonna do this on easy mode because we have to get rid of all the enemies here in order for this to work. It's gonna take a while. It'll help, Tess. So helpful. Ellie, get away from him! We'll be fine. It's not that I just feel like killing them. They have to die for this to work. That looked weird. Their pathfinding is so bad here. All right, that should be everyone. Okay, now let's uh, hit some optional dialogue. Tess, how are you holding up? Just a bit winded. Look this way. This will get us to the roof. Now with Ellie. What about you, kid? You okay? It's a fine okay. Are you still breathing? Do small panic breaths count? Yeah, they count. Right. Then I'm okay. Okay. Now let's go back. So what the game does, and a lot of other games do this, when you pr start to progress in the game, uh, they unload the areas that you have previously been in to save on memory and resources and whatever. Which is smart. Um, and if you try to go back, something will block your way. Like right here, what's supposed to happen, if you go back, the door we kicked in to see Tess getting bit by the runner that she tried to tries to hide later, uh, the door is shut. But if we do all of that and then go back, the door is open. You need to trigger both of those lines of dialogue after the fight's over, then go back, and the area is unloaded. And it just looks so weird. And you just do some really weird things. Turn the camera around, then like the sky is moving. It's really pretty. Like, I'm not moving the control stick, it's just doing that. It's probably doing, like, a time-lapse thing. And if you back up again, some stuff spawns in. But if you enter backwards... Um, yeah, it worked. Okay. Yeah, if you enter backwards, then you can, like, go back into the area. Where we, like, snuck past the clickers. I didn't show it here, but this is where we run past the three clickers here. So it's unloaded, but it's also loaded in. Very strange. And when we go through the door again, because we're supposed to be on top of the building, it's like re-unloaded. It's so weird. And if you try to go in, like, standing up, nothing happens. But if you turn around, that's when it's really weird. I think because the camera is a certain distance behind Joel, like, the game thinks we're there, even though the area is unloaded, so it just, like, reloads it in. Even though that, I guess that's not how the game is supposed to work. Isn't that trippy, though? And then, I, I, I just got this to work. When you're done playing around. Eventually. It's 
It's trippy though, eh? Eventually. Well, he was supposed to fall infinitely, but this works too. <laughs> All the museum pieces in there. He can fall infinitely, and then you just see everything rising. Ah, uh, it's funny. Then the checkpoint's up here. That's how much you're just not supposed to be there. Ah, uh, but that's a good one. That's a good one. All right, and coincidentally, the next thing I want to show you is actually inside the capital. All right, we just finished up with the museum, and there's something that can happen to Tess right after you're done with the museum heading into the capital. And that is, Tess's hair doesn't spawn in. I don't know if it has to do with skip a cut, sk skipping a cutscene or uh, doing the actual museum section too quickly. I don't know what causes it. I've only seen it on my screen one time before, and that was five years ago. But I've seen it happen to a lot of other people before. Bald Tess. So I'm going to see if I get it here, and if not, uh, I'll show you a video of it. So let's see. How's your hair looking, Tess? Yeah, it's looking pretty normal. Okay, so I have a video as a backup just to show you. Monitor. I got like three different videos. Look. There we go. And her hair is gone. Right around this corner. Come on. I don't know what causes it. Not a clue. Keep moving, kid. And her hair is just gone. Kind of like when I do the glitch at the end of the capital, heading into Billstown, Ellie becomes bald. But I haven't a clue what causes... That happens consistently. This one doesn't. <laughs> it's a pretty good look for her. But yeah, you have another video. I think it's a little more clear. That uh, was the one I just closed. But yeah, you saw it. Bald Tess. No idea why it happens. And yeah, that's it. Uh, on to the next one. All right, here we are in the capital, and. Uh, if you remember, there was a glitch I did in the previous yes. glitches video where we got Ellie to hop down to the first floor. Well, it turns out there's something else you can do here. So the enemies are going to break the door down, then they come and try and get you. But you can do do something really weird here. I'm gonna I'm doing this on easy mode. Uh, that that's not what it was. Okay. Ready for this? Just put the camera outside. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. If you notice, the door's open. But what then, when you go downstairs, the door's closed again. I'll do it again. It doesn't even matter if the enemies are alive or you kill them. Here, for this one, I'll kill them. You can't kill them and then come down here, otherwise this door never opens. But yeah, and... Anyone? Okay. Come on, pal. Make this easy. Alright, fine. Ellie dies before this, like, before you do. So, that's literally all you do, is put the camera outside the door. <laughs> She's just floating there. Uh, Alright. Yeah. That, literally, that's it. On to the next one. Alright, here we are in Billstown. See that wire? Now this one's Stay very on difficult to load. get. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get this runner and lure him 
into this room where the trap is. And then he's going to hurt us and kill us while we're hanging upside down. Now, I have a hard time getting this to work, so I might have to rely on a video by a viewer. But I'll try it one more time. I'll try it. We're going to go in here. There's a runner in here, if you didn't know that. Yeah. I want to see what we can find. He doesn't seem to want to follow me. Once we get here, he doesn't follow me. He's right there. He spawns in. He's okay. And then we get here, and he just turns around. I'm going to try and, like, push him around a little. Trying to push him back, trying to push him back. But I can't seem to get him to want to leave. He just wants to run right back. He's like an introvert. He's like me. I try to go outside, but then my instincts just kind of take over. Go back inside. Alright, I'm going to rely on a video for help here. Because I've tried this a few times now. If you're able to get him outside, it's a minute. I'll just let it play out. Move it. See, we're right here. Get him outside. Ellie's got like infinite bottles here. He's a little bit more aggressive in this video. I don't know if it's a different patch, new game plus, whatnot. Easy mode. Who knows? Whether I do it or someone else does, it doesn't really matter. So have the runner follow you. Looks to be a little more aggressive once you get outside. Make sure all the nail bombs are gone. Stay close. Ellie can't kill anyone on her own yet, so you don't have to worry about that. Then when he gets inside, start the section. That is a runner. Watch what happens. You can get hurt and even grabbed. Stupid traps. And then you go right side up. And if I had to guess, I would say you probably can't even mash square here. I think this is worth a slow mo right here, though. Bloop! <laughs> Even in death, Ellie is er, Joel is giving Ellie some sound advice on what to do. Beautiful. All right, I couldn't get it to happen. Maybe you can. Maybe it's a digital copy versus physical copy thing. New game plus difficulty. Who knows? I couldn't get it to happen here. I've tried a few times, but uh, Zoe was able to get it. Thank you, Zoe, for the clip. And yeah, that's it for here. Funny. On to the next one. All right, here we are in Billstown in the spot before graveyard with the nail bomb and the five infected. Now this strat, what I'm up, oh, this glitch, what I'm about to do, has to be done on easy mode and with a restart encounter in this area. It doesn't work if you approach it from here. You have to restart and counter. Now the glitch is we're going to despawn all the enemies by swinging a pipe at a runner. Yeah. But it has to be done in a very specific way. You have to delay the alert of that runner and like be touching that little mailbox right there and keep the camera straight. Basically, if you do all that, it puts the camera inside this wall and then despawns all the enemies. So let's try it. Might, might take a couple tries. Why don't you fix one of these cars? Oh my god, you're a genius. You've been the whole time flying on Damn. There we go. Lock and load. Joel gets a little T pose. A little T posey. A little bit. He can. Alright. <laughs> and that's it. And that's it. If you restart encounter, it puts him closer to the gate. Alright. You gotta check the barricades again. You neglect the simple shit, and now you're paying for it. Isn't that just grand? So I like to hug the right side, so uh, the runners aren't alerted right away. You keep the camera straight, and if this one is delayed getting alert, 
like be touching this thing and do a sprint swing and the camera just goes inside the building and despawns them all. Lovely. Alright. <laughs> That's it. Next. Alright, so we're in Bill's... Uh, safe house? Yeah, the safe house. Now, this glitch doesn't have to be performed here. It can be performed anywhere, but it's the quickest way that I can access a uh, crafting table. We need a crafting table for this. And we need to be close to death. I'm going to throw a Molotov on the crafting bench, and then when just as we're about to die, we have something in our hand. We hit triangle. The backpack will go on the table, but we're going to, like, char. <laughs> So it looks a little something like this. <laughs> the backpack is just like, I'm, I ain't burning today. <laughs> you can do this with any crafting table. Uh, <laughs> like, I don't know what you're doing, but I don't want to burn today. <laughs> Backpack's just like, I'm having no part of this. Uh, okay. That's it. On to the next one. Okay, here we are at the truck push in Billstown. And uh, I'm going to try and copy something that I saw someone else do in a video and it should spawn in an extra runner for the section it's kind of specific movement I'm gonna say it out loud as I'm doing it it basically involves going forward going back inside going out going back in extra runner spawns in and then it like glitches out I already did it. but it works Keep it's weird foot on the clutch. And when we get to so as soon as you push the truck, run back inside. Then when they start conversing, All right, All right, right away, run back inside. Then go. Then when they start conversing, go back inside. Let the dialogue play out out here. We're gonna give it another go. Stay focused. Just keep turning right. Now watch. Weird, huh? The game spawned in... This wave only has one clicker and two runners. But the game spawned in an extra runner from this bush right here. Just by doing what I did there. And it's consistent, too. I... I don't know. I don't know. Next. This one's going to be really, really quick. Uh, you get a really weird looking animation when you go from your backpack straight to pushing the truck. So it looks something like this. I usually like to switch something out and then mass triangle. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? And one more time. Don't worry, that's for a reason. If you restart encounter, it puts you back inside. If you die, uh, it places you outside. There you go. Bloop. <laughs> Just lovely. And that's literally all it is for this section. <laughs> On to the next one. Alright, so there's, a, there's another really stupid thing that you can do in Billstown that won't take that long to show off. Truck push. So get the truck going in a straight line. Molotov Bill, or the ground around him. Then push. Come on, Bill. Put your back into it. Come on, Bill. You can do it. Guys, and bloop. 
Let's see if I can get it again. If I restart encounter, it puts me back in the building. But if you die, it, it places you out here. That's a dumb checkpoint, but alright. Gives me what I want. Come on, Bill. You can do it. Yeah, we gotta go faster. Come on, Bill. We gotta go faster. <laughs> and... Uh, bloop. So stupid. All right, I think I have like one more thing to show you in this section. Okay, we're still at the truck push, but there's one more funny thing we can do. Um, so when you get to the end of the road here, you both push the truck down the hill, and if you time it right, you can get in front of the truck before it gets pushed down the hill, because Bill will continue to push it just a little bit after you stop. So if you time it just right, you can get in front of the truck before you push it down the hill. If you stand in front of it, it just push it. You don't get run over. It it like just pushes you along with it. But if you're in your backpack, it'll fuse through you. And if you exit your backpack at the right time, well, let's just see. All right, Ellie, get ready. All right, Ellie, start it up. All right, Ellie, let's go. I'll ride in the back. Hear that sound, Here we go. All right, Ellie, you can you can keep going. Ellie, you okay? Oh. Uh, Joel, leave! Get out of here! You doing all right, Ellie? A little close. I'll just I'll ride in the back. Oh God, I got pulled out by a runner. Nope, nope, I'm still inside. Yeah, you can get pulled out. Ah. Alright, I'll ride shotgun. Bill, we're waiting on you. Bill, you already installed the battery. Come on. No, Frank already did that. I'm sorry. But seriously, if you, like, piss off the clickers they can like drag you out of the out of the car here look okay trying to pull me out okay clicker oh god I'm out okay okay let me see if there's one other thing I can do it involves Ellie getting a plus sign and it happens if you move too far away if you move too far away the game just kills her but it also spawns an infected on her Alright, I think I got it. Yeah, there it is. And if you... You know, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get it to happen again. If it's a runner, I think something funny happens. Alright, I didn't get what I was looking for, but it was supposed to look like this. I only have a video of it. Yeah, it looks a little something like this. You see, there's a runner attached to Ellie. The plus sign hasn't shown up yet, but I think if you time it, this happens. <laughs> Isn't that great? See, she's reaching in for Ellie and then... <laughs> Isn't that just grand? T-posing runner in the trunk of the car. Beautiful. All right. I'm not going to bother to break my back trying to get it. So I figured I'd show you that. Okay. Uh, that's it for Billstown now. Uh, on to the next one. Okay. Here we are in the start of the Pittsburgh chapter. Now, this only works if you have a melee weapon on you when you're done with Bill's truck push. So you don't have any of your supplies right here. Oh, 
but the game still recognizes you as having a melee weapon on your back. Watch this. Get rid of him. I'm gonna swing my arms at you. Yeah. If only they QA tested this game, right? Hmm. That's it for that one. <laughs> Next. Alright, here's another one in Pittsburgh. I am super stoked about this one. Because there's... Oh, it's just awesome. This is definitely my favorite one of the video so far. So you guys know about the dropping of the gun thing that I do in my runs. If not, let me show it to you right here. So it happens when you break a melee weapon and then immediately aim. Whatever gun you were holding, you drop. Now, with that in mind, you also know that when you put an enemy in a chokehold, You hold them up with whatever is your gun in the right holster. Shorty, El Diablo, pistol, revolver. I think that's about it. What if we combine both? What would the game do? Get ready for this. Let's start with the shotgun. I fucked up the timing. There's a specific timing for it. Alright, so we're starting with the shotgun. Here we go. Okay. So we don't have a right holster. So look at this. It's actually kind of an unused animation in the game, actually. Because we don't have a right holster now. We have no gun. So what happens is, like, Joel kind of goes like this with both his hands. It's kind of like an unused animation. They probably had the idea of, of having a choke hold in the game, but without any guns. Maybe he's going to, like, snap his neck or something. Which they ended up not using. But it's kind of unused. But what happens if you aim a gun? I'll do it. I'll blow his brains out. I swear I'll do it. All right. I like how he had time to say shit after I blew his brains out with a shotgun. So yeah, you get that kind of like unused animation and um you can hold them up with the left gun. But it goes even further. Let's use the rifle. Use the rifle. There we go. Okay. We work something out, okay? Oh, and that's the other thing about this. You need to have nothing in your hand when you go to pick uh put him in a chokehold. So, take three. Just gotta clear his enemies out of the way. So only put him in a chokehold when you have nothing in your hand. Alright, here we go. I'll do it! I'll do it! <laughs> Alright. Isn't that awesome? And last, and my uh, my favorite, make sure when you do this, if you do this, you have an arrow in the bow. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Right, here we go. Let's just be cool, man. Take it easy, all right? No. I am going to bow your brains out if you don't stop talking, sir. Come on, man. Chill. That was my favorite. 
This is the best thing, though. If you don't have an arrow in the bow... But watch. So right now, I didn't load an arrow into my bow. So when I take the bow out... It has the sound of an empty gun. I'm basically firing an empty bow. <laughs> but yeah, that one's my favorite. No, don't have anything in your hands. Go. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure one of the enemies had it where maybe it has to be someone with a gun. When I did this... Alright, I, I want to try and make this work. I'm gonna... I'm gonna break my melee weapon over him. And now pick him up. Oh, shit! Don't kill me, man, please! Let me go! Shit. Okay, what I think I have to do... I'm, I'm listening for a, a thing of dialogue that I'm surprised Naughty Dog didn't leave out. You see this custom animation of covering his mouth, you'd think there would be custom dialogue for like oh, like Kenny on South Park or something and there is I heard it I just need to get it I think there has to be a non-alert or just like spread out and look for him or something like that so I'm gonna try for that I need to break the thing though okay What the hell? Yeah, I forget you saw that. Alright, I just I'm just gonna break my melee weapon on. Okay. Never mind that. This game's so good. I just it's it's so deserving of every award it got. Alright, please rush me normally, sir. Now I'm going to go stealthily, without a right holster, get this guy. Oh, man. Normally, it's, hey, just be cool, man. We can work something out. So, I'm actually going to try and get that. Right, we still have our gun now. Asshole. This is going to be a normal holdup. <laughs> now there's a distinction. I bet money on it. Maybe there isn't. I I could have sworn there th that there would be. All right. 
Regardless of whether there is or isn't, I could have sworn I heard it a while back. This one's my favorite. Jesus. That is so my favorite. But yeah, um, I don't know how it would work with either the flamethrower or the assault rifle. Those are the only other left holstered guns that we could use. Maybe we'll try and figure it out. Maybe. Yeah, fuck it. Let's let's try it. How many hits do I have with this pipe? That could that could. Look, Paul. What's up, man? Let's go. Okay. Now I need a breaker bottle. So close. <gasps> we can get it. Look at that. We can get it with the frickin' assault rifle. I'm not even going to try that again. You saw it. We can get it. Oh, man. Now I need to find a way to get it with the flamethrower. Oh, crap. All right, here we go. Science lab. I haven't tried it yet. We're going to try and hold someone up with the fucking flamethrower. Let's go. See if it works. Look at my setup. One pipe hit. If you get rid of this holster, the game doesn't count this one. Here we go. Okay. You fucking drop him. I'll do it, sir. I'll do it. Here. <laughs> Just a little bloop. It even only used up one thing of flamethrower ammo. Let's get a little better light in here. Sir, I will burn this man's face off. Back up. I'll do it. Run away. It's so underwhelming, but I love it. I love it. <laughs> Dude, one flamethrower bullet. Ammo. Whatever. Fuel. Whatever you want to call it. I just got to use one. What a great strat. All right. Let's get back to the normal glitches, shall we? All right. So, we're in the spot right after the truck crash in Pittsburgh. Now, there's a really, really good glitch here that was only discovered around a month ago by Soviet Jedi. So, when you pick up stuff like a uh, smoke bomb or your first gun of a certain type, Joel always looks at it for a really long time. He's like, oh, this is interesting, so I'm going to spend waste 10 seconds looking at it. Yada, yada, yada. Well, if you have something in your hand, like a... Or, in like both your hands, something that takes a long time to put away when you pick it up. If you keep mashing aim, like like whatever gun you had, after he puts it away for a while, when you hit fire or reload, which for me is R1, he takes it back out. And if you keep hitting it, he'll keep whatever he has out. Like right here, it's for me, uh, this melee weapon, it's R1. He's going to keep this out. So if we tap triangle fucking hunters to see this kid been us. pick up the smoke bomb and then mash R1 that is a lot of people that well, let's see what happens 
I knew I should have turned the damn truck around. Nope. And lived. barely. Okay. Look. Come on. So I here. hit. <laughs> you know exactly what this looks like. Okay. Joel's really struggling with no nut November here. But you have to keep mashing this. And then we can just go. The game wants us to go downstairs and pick up the smoke bomb. You just gotta keep mashing R1. Just keep just keep going. And then eventually, when you let go. Take it however you want. We are going to teleport back to the smoke bomb. Isn't that great? <laughs> the animation's so stupid. Oh, God. But that's not it. There's even more you can do. Uh, yeah, we gotta load the file again. It turns out... This is such a weird side effect of it. We're gonna get it again. Okay. Triangle. Just keep keep going, Joel. You're doing fine. No what? So when he does something that's like a custom in-game animation, like boosting Ellie over, or in this case, opening this door, we just soft lock the game. See, look. No matter what we do, we are stuck. But watch what happens when you switch to something else. It matter. Let's just keep moving. He redoes the animation that he just did. You can do this anywhere, by the way. Not just here. I just picked here because it, it convenient. But if you do it in Billstown and you like boost Ellie over, you'll also be stuck. And when you switch out to something else, he's gonna be like continuing to like. Boost her up. We can't do anything. All we can do is switch out to something else. And then he'll redo opening this door. So we're kind of stuck here. But there's one more thing you can do. Because the further you progress in the game, the more the game unloads stuff that's behind you. So first, we're gonna go... Right over here. We're gonna open the door. And then go back. We're gonna open the door. And then we're gonna go back. Where the fuck's the door? Okay. Okay, ready? So now we're just gonna proceed. All right, here's the bridge. That's our way out of here. Hey, Ellie, slow down. And once Wait again, me. What? we're stuck. Right here. How about you let me go first? We're stuck. And keep your voice. Now, because that was like a sort of custom in game animation, when we switch out to something else, he's just gonna very dramatically redo that animation. It's like, alright, there's the bridge. That's our way out of here. He's just doing it over and over and over. See that? All right, and just one more. One more time. One more time. Okay. One more. Go up here. All right. Trigger the scene. Here's the bridge. That's our way out of here. We're going to go back. Trigger the glitch again. Hey, Ellie. Slow down. Wait for me. Right here. How about you let me go first? Keep your voice down. Do, 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 do. Down we go. One more time. And. 
Bloop. There we go. So now we have no more animations in our way. We're just gonna hop down and proceed. Yep. Oh, Joel. Alright. So we're going back. We're going back to the smoke bomb. Only problem is, we've proceeded too far. Once we hop down here, the game just unloads. <laughs> ah, well, that was fun while it lasted, wasn't it? I don't even know where it places us. Probably right here. Yep. Ah, well. Wasn't that fun? You can do that in more than one location. I just wanted to show off the glitch. I know Billstown, where Ellie whistles in my speedruns, you can do it there. You're also, like, when Joel's, like, walking into a wall to get that to happen, he isn't, he's uh, invincible, meaning he can't die from any infected and stuff. Um, but yeah, you need, you need it to be a spot. You need to have a melee weapon or either, like, a rifle or shotgun. You, like, hit triangle and then just keep mashing it to have it in your arms or your hand. But you need to be picking something up where Joel would be looking at it. Like a, the, your first modded weapon, your first Molotov, your first something. Even something where you either have to tap triangle or hold it down. It's, uh, it can get a little tricky, but this one is the easiest to do. So it like redoes animations and, and teleports you back. But yeah, that's it for that one. And this game grand. Next one. Okay, so... Fuck it. I want to show you more of that Pittsburgh glitch. So it turns out you can do it with uh, a pistol. I tried doing it with a rifle and it didn't work. So, remember, I said one of the side effects of this glitch is you're invincible. So... Triangle. Mash R1. Uh, he looks like he's having a right arm seizure or something. Spasm. And then I'm gonna let go. And he's invincible. For a little brief period. Until he teleports, which is right around... Bloop! <laughs> I love that one. And then another side effect of it is, as you saw, repeating animations. So, triangle. There we go. Dead right arm. That's your cue that you got it to work. So then, hit triangle. Now we're stuck. Just like before. And when we switch out to something different, he's just going to redo the animation. Joel, I don't think... You might want to just boost her up. I don't think that's going to keep... No, no, that's not such a good idea. Well, I can't boost you up. How else are we going to get over there? Just keep shimmying it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is go for the gate, then go back for the modded weapon. I wonder if that shiv door thing will work. It's jammed from the other side. I'll try that too while I'm here. There's some things I haven't tried with this. Here, boost me up. Uh, that's not such a good idea. Well, I can't boost you okay, up. let's see. And there we go. Dead arm. All right, he's going to be stuck in this animation now. Listen, you just open it, ain't nothing else. Sure thing. Easy, easy. He's stuck. <laughs> She's going to push that right through me, isn't she? Oh, she pulls it. Ta-da. Good job. Dude, Joel's like tripping right now. We're stuck. He is so tripping. Look at Ellie. He's like, what are you doing? Talk about living in the past, man. <laughs> Did you ever think this game was this broken? Let's do it with a rifle. <laughs> It's like he's trying to make it a sawed-off rifle or something. <laughs> Look at his hands! He needs to have both hands on it! Look at that! Ah! 
Oh, that's funny. Okay. Let's go back. Um, I want to see how a ship door is going to work. Nope, we're going back. <laughs> we're going back. At least I think we are. Oh, we might not be. We are st- Oh, Christ! <laughs> there it goes! <laughs> it took a while. Okay. Now. We're gonna st we're gonna go really far away. <laughs> then come back. Jam from the other side. Here. I have another save file just in case we overwrite it. Uh, that's not such a good idea. Well, I can't boost you up. How else are we gonna get over there? And let's just see what happens, man. Give me a foot. My index finger is gonna be sore. Listen, you just open it. Ain't nothing else. <laughs> Woo! This is gonna be fun. I can even hit the triangle prompt on the ladder way over there. I wonder how it does, like, crossing checkpoints and stuff. No! 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 Did I wait too long? Maybe it doesn't work. Maybe it doesn't work. Shit. It's jammed from the other side. We'll see. We'll see. We'll try it again. Me up. It's not that hard to get, so maybe it doesn't allow you to do that. Well, I can't boost you up. How else are we gonna get over there? Or I was standing too close to it. Either way, this is way more fun than running. Nothing else. Sure thing. Yeah, maybe. Easy, easy. Maybe it doesn't work. I mean, you can't be standing on top of it. Maybe I was just too close. No, it doesn't work. All right, you can't do that. Look, he's got the revolver. <laughs> he's got the revolver out looking at it too. Nope, it does not work. I'll try it one more time. Well, it's not that difficult to do. Yeah, the game doesn't allow you to do it. Yeah. Oh well. Interesting. Interesting how it wouldn't allow you to go past there. It must unload certain properties of this area when you get that door open. Hmm. Well, while we're here, I want to show off one more thing. And then we'll move beyond Pittsburgh. If you fall off... Right here. Oh, uh, shit. No, 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 no. I'll get this. Needs to be far to the right. No. There it is. <laughs> uh, love this game. Okay, I know this is an awkward edit. But I just found something out about this section that I had no clue. I, I, I kind of knew that the voice actors recorded the same lines more than once. And this isn't a glitch at all. It's just an observation I was making by fucking around with the section after I stopped recording. But I just found something out that I never knew about this game. And that's the... In this section, I'm sure it's the case with a bunch of other sections... The way they deliver their lines here is different. When you go for the gate first before killing the two clickers here, and it, uh, versus after you kill the two. Listen, listen. Again, this doesn't fit with what this video is, but I don't know where else to put it. <laughs> so I'm just going to include it here. Listen to, listen to all the dialogue here. Shit. Let's jam from the other side. Here. Boost me up. 
Uh, that's not such a good idea. Well, I can't boost you up. How else are we gonna get over there? All right, come here. Give me your foot. Now listen, you just open it, cause nothing else. Sure thing. It's like they're whispering. Easy, easy. Okay. I don't think they know the clickers are over there, though. So it's interesting. Ta-da! Good job. Thank you. And now... Kill them. Oh shit. Now listen. Oh shit. It's jammed from the other side. Here, boost me up. No, that's not such a good idea. Well, I can't boost you up. How else are we gonna open it? Alright. Give me your foot. <clears throat> now just open it. Nothing else. Sure thing. Careful. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Ta-da! Good job. Thank you. Makes me wonder how many other sections are like that. They recorded their lines twice, one before you kill the clickers, or if you don't kill them at all, and one after you kill them. How many other sections are like that? I was today years old when I figured this out. There was something similar in the sewers when uh, Ellie is turning on the generator and that moving platform in the sewers. Based on how you get Ellie across, Joel's line, we'll see if that generator still got some juice. I've heard him deliver that line twice based on whether I placed the pallet in front of her or to the left of her. But I didn't know this actually like applied to other sections. It's weird. It's weird. It's not a glitch. Again, I don't know where to put it, but I it's just fucking around here after uh, the... The, the teleportation glitch I discovered it and I was just like whoa whoa I won't include more examples but just like that's a thing in this game and I wonder if there are more th things like that it's cool kudos to the voice actors alright that's it let's move past Pittsburgh we've spent a lot of time here <laughs> alright so next this one's kind of random to get but it's a, it's a visual glitch with his backpack here. I've had this happen like two or three times. And it's all happened here, coincidentally. It might be something with how the enemies trigger in. This is, this is uh, in Pittsburgh after the truck crash. Just watch his rifle and where he, where he puts it, how he gets it in his hands. Yeah, he was supposed to poke his head out to the left as well. <laughs> the left as well so if you like go left. right left on the d-pad at a specific time this won't normally work I think it's uh, specific just to this section he'll take the rifle that's on his back and pull it out of his pocket <laughs> well <laughs> to the left as well Yeah, and that's it. That's probably like the stupidest one in this entire too. video. But yeah, that's it. On to the next one. I remember someone said he found a glitch over here. That bridge looks pretty far. We'll get there. Oh my goodness. Uh, 
Uh, Kim, I showed that in the other stuff. In the other video. Oh my, what's gonna happen now? What can I do here? Oh my goodness. Can I really not climb up here? Yes, I can. Stones look like. This place has been abandoned for a while now. This is still worth it. The shell. Give us our rations. God. Yeah, that's what I figured. Tit. stuck here, aren't I? I'm stuck in here for all eternity, aren't I? Pretty far into something. Hold on. <gasps> okay, there it is. Bye. Middle. You know where to go from here, Ellie. I wasn't recording it, but I'll highlight it on the Twitch stream and use that. So yeah, I, I wasn't sure how to approach that. Only a viewer told me about it. But yeah, you can climb up the front of that, hop in out of bounds over there, and then go in over there. This is pretty cool. It checkpoints me here, so I can't go back. But yeah, pretty cool. Next. Okay. Hotel. Uh, g give me one second. Okay. Now that they're out of our way, let's go to the top floor here. And we're going to do something. A little something something. Yeah. You can climb this. You can like look up here. There's not much. Bunch of floors and stuff, but it's still kinda cool. What's even cooler is you can see literally like everything that's solid. There's a glitch similar to this in the previous video, but it's still kinda cool. And then you can just fall back out of bounds. Oh, and apparently you can... Oh, God! <laughs> yeah, you can either get stuck or you can keep climbing like that. <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna get there again. Give me a second. I'm 
I'm going back there. Alright, let's play around with it some more. That's literally all you can do. I didn't know you could climb there, though. That was funny. He died right away. Look, okay, normally what happens is you just fall back in bounds, but... Yeah. <laughs> what a way to go, huh? Alright. Next. Alright, here we are in the middle of Pittsburgh. This is a spot where we uh, get a pallet over there, move it to Ellie, she drops the plank, yada yada yada, naughty dog parkour, puzzle solving. Next glitch is in here. It's pretty funny. I think it's funny. You fall off the second balcony, he takes fall damage in the water, and then he drowns. He gets stuck underwater and then he drowns. That's what we're gonna try to get to happen. Let's see, it's right around here. Right around here. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Yep, there he goes. Yeah, he's losing oxygen too. I should probably point that out. Yep. Bye, Joel. What a way to go, right? This, this is exactly how I want to go. Alright. It must have been a combination of, like, hopping on the rail here and then being stuck underwater. I don't know, because I can't even see him. He, he is just gone, gone, gone. There's nothing we can do except enjoy the pretty lights. Look, the northern lights are outside. Hmm. Pretty. That's pretty much it. It looks like we can move him, though. But we can't. Like, this is just the left stick. Ah, uh, Joel's gone. Let's see what happens when he dies. Like, if he plops back up or something. Like a beached whale. There he is! <laughs> he looked like he was on the very bottom. There's our bridge. Ah. Uh. We're a little closer. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Next. Okay, we're in Financial District. A viewer just told me this strat, and I'm still in shock about it. Watch this. If you're crouched and you throw a nail bomb, you can catch your nail bomb. Watch yeah, this. If you're going steal, you're it only works when you're crouched. Right, I would have It doesn't work if you're standing. Or even if you, like, transition into a crouch. But you can either stand up... ...or stay crouched. And even, like, whenever. Alright, I guess not whenever. We'll see if there's like a height limit and stuff. I'm still just figuring this out. Alright, so you have to start mashing triangle right away, I think. But here's something, uh, Superior Arachnid. Uh, uh, he, he, he told me this. This only works in 60 FPS. Watch this, it doesn't work. Yeah. God, again, I was today years old when I figured this out. Well, I didn't figure it out. I really can't believe it. It's only a, it's a 60 FPS thing. Crouched, mashed triangle after you've thrown it. You can pick it up. And the throw can't be too high. Yeah, I heard it too. Watch yourself. There's some things like you can't do with it, but Look, this shouldn't... 
Look at that. What was that? Yeah, what the hell was that? Shut up, Schizo. Alright, he's saying you can hit someone and get it back as well. Yeah, as all should have known, but if you're gonna steal, then you better make sure you get away. <laughs> Dude, this game's broken to all fuck, and I love it. <laughs> hey, I you to know, Look at this. If you're gonna steal, <laughs> that is amazing. It doesn't work if you're standing, and it doesn't work in 30 FPS. And I, I don't think it works if you throw it too high. Nah. And it doesn't work if you wait too long. Yeah. This is like a delicate balance to it. Nice throw. I don't know what you're doing, pal, but take this. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's awesome. I wonder if you could do it with something else. Now I'm just like so curious. Hey, I told you to know, but Let's try a brick. You're gonna steal, and you better make sure. Let's try a smoke bomb. Let's try a molly. It only works with nail bombs. All right, cool. Thank you, Arachnid, for telling me about that. I can't use it in my runs. Not that it would be disallowed, but I. I don't know how I would use that. Oh my god, I love that. Okay. A nail bomb recapture. How about that? Next. <laughs> Alright, here we are in the middle of Financial District with all the nail bombs. Now, I included this area in my previous glitch video. Uh, you do a quick turn here, it spawns you over there with all the enemies, uh, gone, and then you go for the ladder. But if you do the running glitch into a corner here, with photo mode on, you get a really funny side effect. So, do the glitch. This isn't new. If you want to see how to do that more in depth, watch my other video. But if you do the running glitch. Into the corner. Here we go. <laughs> you get really funny side effects. And then when you get rid of it, make sure you're still like moving the D-pad. <laughs> okay, it's X and then just keep going. Sometimes you don't get a funny face, but No, we gotta get another one. Ah, oh, this is so close, but I think you get it. Here, I'll try and get it one more time. And then we'll go. But if you time photo mode just right, you can get some really funny pictures. Oh, nice. Nice, quick, uh, no loading screen. All right, let's do it one more time. Okay, get ready. Got it. Let's do that close. Damn it. I fucked up again. Excuse me. You gotta be quick. And then time X. And then when you're done, do it again. And then. And then time it again. I'll give it one more try. I won't even make a save file just to speed things up here. Got work from the East Side crew. 
Come on. There we go. <laughs> That's always fun. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hey there. Okay, and then get ready to spin it. How do you do, partner? <laughs> With Ellie in the background. Then get ready to turn. The edge of the universe and back. Endure and survive. If your hands get tired, just or if you I use my left thumb for that. <laughs> There's Ellie in the background. Look, <laughs> she's like, what are you doing? <laughs> and go. Excuse me. <laughs> this will forever be funny. Hey there, sexy lady. Can I buy you a drink? <laughs> You can even see it change in real time. <laughs> uh, it's not as funny as one that I'm going to show you later, but <laughs> it's still funny. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then I fucked it up. Make sure to make a save file so you can practice it. Okay. Have photo mode on. Yeah, trust me, you'll get a great. You'll have a great time. You can make some good avatars with that. Ah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jesus. Um. No. Before I go, or before I move on, there is one more thing here. So Naughty Dog did pretty good with adding invisible walls, so you can't die. Did you know you can't die from fall damage? Like take damage, take damage, take damage, and then when your health is gone, the next thing of fall damage will kill you. No, you can't die from fall damage. But you can die, even with full health, Whoa, from one fall that's too big. So... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Just like that. See that? <laughs> so yeah, individual things of fall damage can't kill you. But one fall too big, and yeah, you'll die. That's one of like five, five or six places where you can die from fall damage that I know of. Besides falling through the map. But yeah, All right now that's it. On to the next one. Go back inside. Help the others clean the place up. Okay. Careful out there. There. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. So. When you start this area, right after the dam fight, swap the frame rate to 30 FPS. And then mash triangle. Uh, and there's a chance you can get off the horse here. <clears throat> Bye, Callus. Now, this was in the previous uh, glitch video. But that was the first time I had ever gotten it. I didn't really know what to do. Oh, I know what, I know what to do here. We are going to have some fun, people. If you haven't seen this already, this is something else. And there was even something that I found just yesterday that's really funny and actually made me realize like why the game is the way it is. So again, this was in the pre the previous glitches video. 
But I know how everything works now. So once you exit this tunnel here, Joel gets all freaky, and when you switch out to bottles and molotovs and stuff, his body becomes just... Ugh. Bloop. Yeah, like that. We're gonna get up a little ways, though. Now, if you're doing this at home, because I don't know why you wouldn't, if you stop, you're gonna be stuck. But a way to fix that is to hold aim and forward, and then go. Alright, you guys ready? When you switch out to something different, like a bottle or a Molotov, Yeah. I hate to do it to you, but... Yes, this is indeed a thing. Look at his pupils. And then, like, it happens as soon as you switch out to something. So if you time the photo mode, as soon as you switch out on the D-pad, you get some of the best results ever. <laughs> Let's zoom in like as far as we can, shall we? Isn't it beautiful? There's Tommy in the background. Joel's so happy to see him. <laughs> you can use this for your avatars and stuff. It's wonderful. I may as well look at this again. It's just gorgeous. <laughs> I'd say the funniest ones, though, are, again... It happens when you... I, I use bottle to Molotov. As soon as you switch out, then it stops. Then when you switch out again, it's during the transition. So right there. <laughs> he just makes the funniest fucking faces. <laughs> oh, and I gotta mention that. Look at his fucking hands, dude. Like sausage links or something. I suddenly have a craving for some breakfast sausage. Oh! <laughs> Looks like he's about to sneeze. <laughs> Look towards the light, Joel. It'll come out a little easier. <laughs> Don't do meth, kids. <laughs> Again, you get the funniest... The funniest look during the transition if you're able to time it properly. <laughs> Just one eyeball. <laughs> Bigger than the other. Like he's about to go crazy. If you can get it during the transition, it's so much funnier. <laughs> See? It's freaking awesome. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, look, a penny. It's It's just so good. These were some of the best ones that we found. I spent like an entire stream working on this. <laughs> that one's my favorite. I don't know why. Look at his left arm. <laughs> Joel really likes beer. But even the... <laughs> <laughs> you can use the filter in photo mode for like the left behind stuff as well. I like this one the best. I don't know why. We literally spent like an entire stream doing this. And 
You can just have so much fun with this. I mean, come on. This will always be funny. Look at his foot, dude. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. Remember, you want to move. Now, there's something even better than that. For the longest time, I was always wondering, and it eventually goes away, as long as he's able to T-pose, this will happen. See? And then it goes away right around at the log there. There, right there. Then it won't happen. You can always go back, though. Boop. See? But something always, like, puzzled me. And that is, and I have I have this on survivor mode so you can see the heads-up display. After... There. More tracks. You know, you get okay, health, you, you get all of your health refilled in this game after certain chapters. I'm n you're never able to see it because I do it on grounded modes and the, head, and the heads up display is disabled. But you get your health back after the damn fight. And I was always wondering, why is that? No big amount of time has passed. You know, I was always curious about that. Like, this is literally five minutes later after the end of the damn fight. When Ellie takes a horse and rides off. And, like, why do you get your health back? And a viewer mentioned it to me in chat. It's because when you start the fight here, an enemy throws a Molotov and does a little bit of damage. So they probably put... They probably gave you full health just for that reason. So what happens... Because the game never expects you to do this. What happens if you go in there? With just a little bit of health. Like, that much. You can't get back on the horse. You can just leap over this and the fight starts as normal. Let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're back on the horse, but <laughs> come on, that's great, right? <laughs> see that little bit of health he lost right there? How many you see? Too goddamn many. And then you do the fight as normal. Come on, that's great. <laughs> so that right there is why the game refills all your health. God forbid you leave the damn fight with like that much health. That could happen every time. The best part about that is the build-up. Joel is literally like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and then that happens. That enemy had a perfect throw, man. Ah. Uh. <laughs> so you got a better understanding of how the weird Joel face thing inverted body looks. And that is just great. This game's so broken, and I love it. All right. On to whatever the next glitch is. All right, I know we're on a loading screen right now, but I'm loading up University. Something funny happens if you hold down triangle when you start University. Watch, we've got this whole loading screen. I'm just going to hold down triangle. Basically, you get the dialogue of Joel getting off Callus as the game introduces you to the area. But he stays on the horse. So, as a result, Ellie and Joel are taking up the same space on the horse. You listen. Mistake. Right, it's called turnover. And if you clear the 10 yards then you're back at He had the dialogue First stay, Callus. Yeah, it's confusing. <laughs> you just got to play it a couple of times. It all makes sense. And then Whoever that was at ESA that told me about this, thank you. Oh, I can't move. God damn it, I can't move. 
<laughs> but it looks fucking stupid. <laughs> I think it goes away when I... <laughs> it goes away when I get off, I think. Yeah, I can't move the damn thing. But totally worth it, right? Maybe you guys can find a way to get it to, uh... To get it to work. It's easy to load up. Look at that. Uh... Two peas in a pod. Alright, let's see what happens if I get off. I'll stay with Callus. I hate that name. Yeah, she scoots back. And then we're back to normal. But what an addition to the list so far, right? That's the kind of shit that I love. Alright. On to the next one. Here's another cool one you can do at university. Once Ellie and Joel are separated. <laughs> Uh, you can go over here and actually trigger, like, a debug camera. I've tried to get it, but I haven't really been successful. It might be a patch thing. I've been struggling, but basically if you squeeze Callus through here and then angle him... ...this way... Again, I I'm having trouble getting it. Yeah, I I I've been here for a while and I can't get it. So I'm going to have to show you a video. It looks a bit like this. If... If you're able to get it... You just squeeze him in through there. And then turn him enough. You'll get pushed out of bounds in university. And then you just ride off. And yep. over time, I guess you use uh, photo mode to know where you're going and when you go far enough like everything's despawned but if you go far enough you use photo mode to know where you're going and then weird things happen from here your supplies turn invisible then you turn invisible the sound effects stop and then eventually you have complete control of the camera and you can use the control stick to like zoom the camera with the with the buttons R1 L1 and it's like a complete debug mode camera which is really cool you can you can take the camera anywhere in university and find some secrets i guess you see some stuff spawn in out of thin air which is pretty cool again i've been trying to get it for a while but i couldn't uh, but if you're able to, this is a really cool side effect that you can do if you just ride away far enough. Debug camera. File territory. Pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. I'm gonna try one more time to get it. He just like went over here, angled him this way, then angled him that way. Almost. You saw it. I'm sure if you play around with it enough, you can get it yourself, and then you, you get access to that really cool debug camera. And with photo mode on, you can see where you're going up, up until a certain point. So yeah, that's it for this one. Uh, next. <laughs> Alright. University, in the generator room. I'm gonna go out here and look at this balcony. I had no clue that this existed until now. I never actually, like when I played casually, obviously speedrunning, looked back here. But there's a balcony right here. Pretty cool. There's something kind of weird about this balcony, though. You see, we're walking around and doing stuff. You can throw stuff down there. 
and it'll land there. But look at this. For some reason, there's an invisible wall right here. Look. Isn't that weird? Right there. That's not the glitch. Just remember, th this area is just a little bit weird in how they made the game. I find that kind of interesting. Alright, let's go back down. Meet with Ellie and Callus. Let's go retrieve our nail bombs. It's kind of a waste. Hey, I was thinking I would have wanted to be an astronaut. That a fact. Yeah, yeah. Banter, yada yada yada. Imagine being up there all by yourself. Too bad. What about you? What do you want to be? Uh, well, when I was a kid, I used to want to be uh, a singer. Well. <laughs> Shut up. No serious. Sing something. Uh, no. Come on, I won't laugh. So you can actually uh, go to that area. Please. Let's go. Aww. Let's see. Those monkeys? Okay. Let's go look around. I'll stay with Callus. I hate that name. Okay. Well, right off the bat, our nail bombs are gone. These things right here weren't there before. Uh, you know what else isn't there? The balcony. <laughs> Look at it, it's just gone. So is that invisible wall. That's definitely where we came from up there. It's just gone. So are our nail bombs. These weren't there when you were up there. But the entire thing's just gone. This is definitely the same spot. It's just fucking gone. I don't know if this is like I don't know what that invisible wall was. Maybe it was like right here to block this stuff from up there. Maybe maybe they just forgot to include this part from down here. Maybe that's intentional, maybe it's not, but sure is weird. And yeah. That's pretty much it. <laughs> On to the next one. All right, here we are in the science lab. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to do an... It's not a glitch, because we're allowed to use it in our glitchless runs, but it's ammo manipulation in a way, if you will. So you know what happens here. I hit triangle. We fall onto that. And then two guys burst through the door, and I use my revolver to kill one and then kill the other. And then the section proceeds as normal. We stagger our way through the rest of the science lab, we headshot a guy, and then we make our way out, and then winter starts. But something happens. I normally always leave science lab with this much. I only leave with a smoke bomb. The thing is, the game always gives you a fully loaded revolver when you wake up as Joel in winter. In winter, when you wake up as Joel, after David chokes Ellie out, you wake up with a fully loaded revolver. That's the game looking out for you. That's not anything that I'm doing. You, that always happens. It doesn't matter how much ammo you had prior, either. But you can do something that makes it so you wake up with 12 bullets instead. So watch. I'm including this in the glitches video, even though you're allowed to use this in glitchless. So all you have to do... So this section right here. If you do nothing, the guy with the right... Or the guy with the pipe on the right kills you. So you have to kill him. And then it's optional to kill the guy on the left. If not, Ellie will kill him. But if you fire three times... The, the way to get this to work is to fire the gun three times. That's it. That's all you have to do. And there's something Ellie does here to know if you got it or not. 
So watch. I'm going to kill the guy on the right and then just fire blindly. Two more times. So watch. Two. Three. I fired three times. The game doesn't like that. <laughs> so the game's going to behave as normal for a little bit. One, two, three. Let's get to the damn horse. Now Ellie always like kind of skips across the hallway here. But watch what she does. Bloop! <laughs> That's how you know you got it. The only reason that happened is because we fired three bullets instead of one or two. You need to fire at least once. You can fire twice to speed things up. The game doesn't really expect you to have time to fire three. Which is weird. So now, the rest of the section behaves as normal. There's nothing more to show. Now, I'm going to have to play all the way through to the lodge in winter in order to show you the real effect of what we did there. So, yeah, I'm going to play. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Made it all the way through. Yeah. From science lab all the way here. Normally what's supposed to happen is Joel wakes up with five or six revolver bullets. But because of what we did in the science lab, we should wake up with around 12. Which is unheard of in grounded. Let's see. It should work. There it is. Because after he got impaled, we fired three times, Ellie did that glide across the floor, and Joel wakes up with six more revolver bullets than he normally has. That's a really good strat for someone just just beginning on Grounded. If you do want to pick this up as a speed game, try and do what I do. And you get 13. It's a really nice strat, and as you saw, it's super easy to do. Hit the guy on the right, and then just fire two more times. Blindly, in the air. Beautiful. All right. Uh, that's it for this one. Um, next. Alright, we're back in the science lab, and there's something else that you can do here. Uh, that doesn't involve manipulating the game so you can get 12 revolver bullets in winter. Uh, it's a soft lock. So, we're on grounded mode, new game plus, and Joel has about that much health left. So we're gonna set off like a chain reaction of nail bombs here. There's one. There's another. It's kind of close. And... Let's see where that one goes. That should be good. Now they're all going to detonate each other. And it's going to soft lock the game. Lovely. Oh, there goes that nail bomb. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't roll too far. Nope, it's right next to us. <laughs> oh, boy. Ready for this? What do you want me to do? And... A little sadistic, but... That thing isn't in his stomach anymore. <laughs> and the game is soft-locked. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see if he makes it out this time. Nope. <laughs> so, yeah, you'd have to quit to the main menu in order to get rid of this. Oh, uh, man. And... It's just so funny. <laughs> but... There's something else you can do... That's even better. Oh, man. So much better. 
You guys are going to love this. If I can get it. You can throw a nail bomb so perfectly that it actually kind of clips through the door a little bit and it detonates as soon as the enemies spawn in on the other side of the door and you get a very very funny side effect alright let's see if we can get it, uh... I gotta make a save file first it's just, it's just really really funny okay here we go It's gotta be a little closer than that. Let's see. Alright, we'll see if that works. It might be good enough. You'll be able to tell if it works. Because as soon as Ellie hops down, it blows up. Let's see. Got it. There it is. Alright, they're dead. So watch and listen. What do you want me to do? What? Their dialogue's busted. The sound effects still work, though. But wait! There's more! <laughs> the camera's busted! I don't see anyone. Let's go! <laughs> Joel? Do Come on, Joel! You can do it! Let's bring him back here. Moonwalk, Joel. You're never able to see his legs while he's aiming. Did you know he can aim here? Back it up, Joel. Let's see the inside of his jacket. Oh! Dude, it's a first person mod. Let's go. First person. First person Last of Us. <laughs> look at his hand. Oh, man. His, his legs look kind of normal there, but look what they're like when he's aiming. It's like he's walking a little bit faster on a speedy treadmill or something. <laughs> so that's because of the nail bomb being thrown so perfectly. Alright, I'll get him to the window. There he goes. He's through. There's a shotgun. It's a pretty cool effect. They make the screen blurry for the shotgun. <laughs> it's so awesome. Unfortunately, when you're able to shoot this guy, the, it, the game returns to normal. So that's it. Uh, right here, there is something you can do. The strat is I wait until Ellie fires at him to headshot him. Because if you headshot him too early... Gotta do this the hard way. Yeah. If you headshot him too early, it doesn't register. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, there is one more thing uh, with that nail bomb stuff trick. And it's here. If you throw nail bombs all around him so perfectly, you can get him to, like, catapult. Six nail bombs all around him on New Game Plus. And... <laughs> Jesus. That's one way to get him off the metal thing. <laughs> it's soft-locked again. 
<laughs> it's so funny seeing him fly. <laughs> Alright, one more time. Okay, Dude, one more where time. Where does he go? Alright. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Next. Alright. Here we are in winter. I'm doing this on easy mode. And Ellie has a revolver. Now what I'm gonna do... There was a, there's a glitch that happens to me pretty much all the time. When I, I normally restart encounter right here... In order to avoid this glitch. Let's see if it happens. But if this happens with the revolver... Yeah, see, here's the glitch. I have the revolver. Now I'm going to restart encounter, and it's going to place me here, and David and I never have that little scuffle. So I should, like, permanently have the revolver now as Ellie. And then immediately I'm going to make another save file to save it. But yeah, you get not some weird side effects, but... I have a revolver for this fight. And that's not supposed to happen. You're supposed to lo lose it when you have that scuffle and start the fire. I don't see. Come on, David. Take that. Holy Christ. <laughs> does restarting encounter still... Let, let me have it. It does. Yeah, he doesn't. Look, he doesn't. No one that's infected stay alive. He doesn't react to it. Only the stabs. So there's that. That that's a good enough glitch. The the David spawning outside thing. I covered that in my previous glitch video, so I'm not gonna go over that. It's something that can just happen. But if you start this fight normally, your revolver disappears. But because of that glitch, we never have the scuffle and we're able to keep our revolver. And as you can see, he's programmed not to react to ammo. However, the real glitch happens much later. Next time we play as Ellie, this is the last time we play as Ellie, until Jackson, the very last spot in the game, the game lets her keep that revolver. Now, I have to play through to the end right now, but, yeah, let's just see what happens. You gotta trust me on this one. I went from the David fight, I played all the way through to the end. Ellie should have a revolver here, and she's not supposed to. So let's see what happens. I haven't played around with this beforehand. Uh, we're literally just gonna see what's happening, what's gonna happen here. Oh, God. Dude, this is the freaking ranch glitch all over again. Oh, thank God I have photo mode enabled. We're going to be here for a while. Oh, God, it's like the ranch glitch all over again. I need to get that initial, like... Body freak out. I don't think I ever told you, but uh, Sarah and I used to take hikes like this. I think, uh, yeah, she's not just she's just not supposed to have a revolver here. I bet I would have. So let's see what we can do with this. First of all, I think there are areas where she's. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Oh, sweet Jesus. I wonder if there are, like, random spots on the ground, or if it's... This is pretty difficult to time. God. 
Oh, now the revolver's disappeared. I can't aim it. I can't do anything. You guys can see. I'm, I'm trying to get when she, like, spazzes out. I'm trying. I think after a while, so, like, the game... She does that because it's putting it away. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> oh, this is gonna... Oh, God! Oh, no! This is even worse! No! No, this is even creepier! God damn it, no! Jesus H. Fuck, no! This is way creepier! Uh. <laughs> this is way creepier! You can't get this normally, it's only because of the gun. <laughs> <laughs> because of the gun. Oh god, no. Uh. Uh. Alright, hold on, hold on. <sighs> oh, Jesus. It's when she puts it away. Uh, let's get rid of this one. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Where's the normal one? <laughs> oh my god, it's just like the freaking ranch all over again. Oh god, I really wish we wouldn't we couldn't be able to do this. This is gonna scar me. It really is. Uh Nightmares for Days is right. <laughs> Where's the I'm gonna get like the best one and then and then we'll move on. Ah uh. uh. I'm so scarred. See with Joel it was funny. For this one it's just kinda disturbing. Definitely more disturbing than anything. <laughs> Why did you have to include that winter glitch, Naughty Dog? Because then this never w would have been a thing. I'm thinking that bite on her arm is having some some side effects. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I 
That's the best one we're going to get. That was perfectly timed. Uh, <laughs> my God. For those of you just joining us, uh, no, this, this is, this is too much, man. <laughs> man, I told you there were going to be some side effects. Jesus, God, no. <laughs> he even just zoomed out. God. I think you get the gist of it. Revolver, when she's putting it back in her pocket and taking it out, causes her to do that. Ugh. We got like the best look possible. We don't need to do any more. But goddamn, man. Uh, even that one's just too much for me. <laughs> the be the worst thing about all this is I just showed everyone how to get it too. Uh, let's move on, shall we? Okay, here we are at the end of the coal mine fight. I think I showed this off in a, the previous glitch video. But when you see the screen turn blue here, if you restart encounter, right there, Ellie is going to be T posing on top of Callus. You can't pause it or anything. You can go back and clip it and then pause it. It looks ridiculous, it's hilarious. And I love it. Right. Once you hit here, you can't get it anymore. But it's funny. Now, there's something else I'm going to try here. It involves getting grabbed, then hopping over a log. And if you're hugging the right side, you can get out of bounds. So, let's see if I can get it. Right, let's see if I can get it. We need that enemy in the back to grab us. Come on, grab me, grab me. I, I, I've been here for a while. I can't get it to work. So I'm going to have to rely once again on another video. Yeah, it's supposed to look like this. Move ahead a little bit. Get grabbed by that guy. Yeah. Go to the right. Wait till the last second to push him off. And then you do it as you're leaping over the log. And then you go out of bounds. And this video is like seven and a half minutes long. You're out of bounds and you can just keep going and going and going. It. You literally just keep going. In this section, you can't stop Callus either. You can just... You can slow down, but you just can't... You can't, um... You can't stop. Yeah, you turn around. <laughs> Naughty Dog loves their trees, man. You get a real nice look of the area. And you just keep going and going and going, and eventually, I think eventually, 
Well, I don't know. Does it stop? No, it doesn't stop. The video just ends. You just keep going. I seriously wonder how far you could go. I've been trying to get this for a while, and I couldn't. Again, it looks like this. So you get grabbed by this enemy. Right back. Well, he wears that color jacket. Push him off at the last second, hug the right side, and while that animation is still going, you're hopping over that log and you're out of bounds. Difficult to get, and the more you restart and counter this section, the more enemies just kind of ignore you. So it makes it difficult. But yeah. There's that. Also, here's another glitch that I tried to get, but I couldn't. If you hug the right side, I think this one was just an anomaly, but if you hug the right side, and then, well, you'll see. You get grabbed by that guy, and then, I think, shot at the same time. Yeah, you fall off. This kind of reminds me of the ranch glitch. Callus just keeps going. That's the funniest part. <laughs> yeah, you fall off the horse, and you can just go. You're not invincible. Well, you might be. I think that's proof you can't die from it. The only way you can die in this section is if an enemy, like, drags you off of Callus by not mashing square. And then I think if you get to where you're supposed to go, the game just takes over. Yeah, it does. Alright, but yeah, it looks, again, it looks a little something like this. If you hug the right side. And that enemy... No, not that one. That one over there. He grabs you, and you get shot at the same time. You just kind of fall off. I love how Callus just keeps going. Which is probably, like, accurate in terms of animal instincts. So good job, Naughty Dog. I don't think these guys will melee you. I, these enemies are only designed to, like, grab onto Callus and just pull you off. And you can get shot over and over here, but... I don't think they made the game so that you can die while on Callus by getting shot. Now, while I'm here, there is one more thing I can try. If you, like, fake this way, and then go this way... No, I can't get it. You can also, like, go out of bounds by entering this area over here if you like go left and then go right kind of like anomaly stuff but it is possible if you probably angle yourself perfectly but yeah there's like three different glitches here and they're funny to look at <laughs> I wish I could get them to show you on my own personal screen but I can't I just can't oh, well I guess I suck at this game then Oh well. Next. Okay, I tried really hard to get this myself, but it's not something you can trigger intentionally. This next glitch is called the Blizzard Glitch, and not that it only happens on the latest patch, but it happens way more frequently on the latest patch. Uh, the last section as Joel and Winter, like the last push, uh, the blizzard can sometimes just be completely broken. Uh, I tried to get it, but I couldn't. Again, it's not something you can trigger intentionally. It can just happen playing normally. So I'm going to have to rely on some videos to show you. Looks a little something like this. To this spot right here. Oh! Here's one that I never get. The blizzard's broken. Look at this. The blizzard's glitched and broken. This is only the second time I've ever seen this. It's almost like a strobe light effect. Doesn't affect enemies' eyesights. But yeah, look at this. It's kind of like a strobe light effect. And then I have one more as well. See, uh, 
any percent runs are typically done on the latest patch. This never happens during my grounded runs because because right, I don't feel safe. I'm going to. Do I do it unpatched. But this is done on the latest strat. patch. I have a feeling. I haven't looked. Oh god, the blizzard's glitched. This doesn't usually happen in a run. I can get this to happen on purpose by loading in the file and restarting encounter a bunch of times, but yeah, this can sometimes happen. The blizzard is glitched. Wait, what happens? And yeah, that's pretty much it. Tried to get it to happen, but I've been here for like an hour trying to get it. Something that can just happen on its own. Glitched out blizzard. A blitch. Yeah. All right. Next. Okay, this is gonna be the shortest one in the entire video, but a tiny little launch you can do. The hell is this little water fountain right here has magical powers. If you crouch underneath it and then hold down sprint. Wee. I didn't get a good one there, but let's see if I can get another one. Hold on. Wee. All right, it can send you flying. Can I do it going back the other way? Wee! <laughs> I'm very easily entertained, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> it's not a glitch. You can do that in your glitchless runs, but... I don't know. It's just funny to look at. Stupid shit like that. I love it. Alright. Next. All right. Now... We are in Left Behind. I'll give you a little refresher on what this part of the game is supposed to look like when I do any percent glitched runs. It looks like this. In the final fight, you white out the area doing that glitch. And then you go right for the door. Now you have to wait for the entire white background to disappear and have everything fill in normally. Or else something weird will happen. You see, there, the this is what's supposed to happen. The, the, the glitch despawns all the enemies so you can go right for the door. But you need to wait for the white background to disappear. Because if it doesn't, ooh, something weird happens. If I can't get it here, I'll uh, rely on a video. All right, I'll try it one more time. If not, I'll uh, use a video. That's always been the strat. Never hit the triangle prompt on the door when everything's all whited out. Alright, I can't get it. It fills in too quickly. That first try was as close as I'm going to get it. Uh, so we'll just use a video. So um, I just did the glitch. I hop down the crates and I'm going for the door. Watch what happens if you hit it while everything is white. Watch this. Here, you can listen to me from, like, seven months ago. Sorry, Joel. Let's get this... Oh! Fuck! Fuck! So, the last wave of the fight happens? What? You wanna do this? Let's do this. <sighs> but, yeah. Her entire model is invisible and no enemies spawn in. The only thing that's visible is what she's holding and her flashlight. <laughs> yeah, the white has to be gone when you hit the triangle prompt there. Otherwise... Even the backpack. <laughs> All right. Uh, now this is on PS4. If you do the same thing on PS3, you get a much different, but way better result. Even better than that. Uh, let me show you right now. All right, here we are, left behind, on PlayStation 3. 
PlayStation 3 controller, PlayStation 3 console. It looks gross, I gotta say. But let's do the glitch. And I'll show you. When you're doing it on PS3, you have to do it a little bit differently. So you all know this glitch. You've seen it before when I do my attempts. This isn't anything new, but when you do this on PS3, you have to wait a little bit until you see some stuff fill in. And that is the bricks on the ground. There we go. And then it behaves as normal. Rest of the fight, everything. What if you hit triangle too early, just like on PS4? What happens? Hmm. Something similar, but also something very different. So... I'm not touching anything. Let's get this. Oh! Fuck, fuck! The game just kills her. But wait! There's more! Wait for it. Oh. Yeah, that's all fine and dandy. But it places us right inside the garage door that we lock at the start of the game. You know, where we're trying to find medical supplies to heal Joel. Speaking of which, look, it's Joel. He's not really dealing too well with the impalement. He's, he's barely hanging on. He ain't looking too good. But if we go to the other side, <laughs> you can see he's really not doing too good. <laughs> oh, Joel, you have seen better days, my friend. Look at those feet. Oh, man. Oh, God. No more part two, everyone. That's it. I mean, from here, you can't tell. And the only way you can see this room normally is when she opens the door after both phases of the fight are over. And she's like, you better be alive, Joel. And you can barely see this room a little bit. So they had to put some detail, because you see this a little bit. So like from this angle everything's fine. Even like here it's a little bit off, but literally from right here he looks well he doesn't look good, but most of him is filled in. It's just from the other side. <laughs> oh man. It's like Paper Mario and The Last of Us colliding. Speaking of colliding. Yeah. A lot of things aren't solid in this area. Uh, where was the one spot? I could actually see pretty well. There it is. Pretty. Keep going. There's a little back room here. I don't know why, but there is. Yeah, you can't even get this on PS4. It's pretty cool. Other than that, that's that's pretty much it. You can climb this thing. You can't really go anywhere else. That'd be cool if you could go back outside, but... Nope, you're stuck here. You gotta restart encounter to get back outside. <laughs> yeah, this is the best part, though. I like how there's still blood splatter. Yeah, Joel, you look 20 and a half years younger. Jesus. Oh, well. And I think this is a good place to end this video. Glitches in The Last of Us. Yeah. <laughs> um, I hope I included everything. No, I definitely have missed out on something good. If I have to, I can update this video or just make a brand new one. Uh, most importantly, I hope you I hope you all enjoyed, and gave you a newfound appreciation for how broken this game is. <laughs> <laughs>
But yeah, that's it. Look forward to the next video I make, whatever that is. Hope you guys learned something. See ya.